Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So in the previous video, we have created the spec file in the main.spec file. So here in the show version, we have created for this Python for the document.getElementById, right? Now what we need to do is, so now what we need to spy on this calculator.version. We know that calculator.version has a getter property. We need to spy on this getter property. Normally, what we'll try to do is, we will try to spy normally do the spy on thing on the calculator version. So if you try to see in this calculator.js, whenever we are calling this calculator.version, it will be calling this getter function, right? This getter function it will be calling. Calculator.version property has a getter function. This function will be executed. So normally we will try to see the spy on thing. So we will do what I can do is, so in the main.spec.js, so here before calling this one, I will be spying on calculator dot prototype okay and i will be calling on the version so here i will be doing this version now here we will be trying to do that expect expect calculator calculator dot prototype prototype dot version to have been called okay so let's try to see it. So now let's try to see it. Now if I try to see here, version is not declared writable or has no setter. So it is trying to tell that version. So here, this when we are trying to spy on this method, it is telling that it is doesn't have a writable and setter property we are saying. It is trying to say. That means it is not a function it is trying to say. Now for this type of properties, when we want to spy on this one, what we can do is there is a special function method that is spy on property here we'll be able to see spying on properties spy on property we can use this spy on property let's try to use this spy on property now here if i try to do so we need to do the spy on property so we want to spy on the property and here the third para it will take the third parameter so that is whether it is whether i want to spy on the getter version or the setter version Default one, it will be, a, if you don't provide anything, the third thing, it will be a get thing only. If you mention means, it will take whatever you want. So I want to mention it as explicitly. Or otherwise, if you don't mention also, it, the default one will be the get only. So now we are spying on the property dot get. Now let's try to see that show version and the property dot version have been called or not. If I try to do, where is this one? Yeah. So now here when I am trying to do, it is telling that expected is spy but got undefined it is telling that it got undefined why is why we got this one as undefined so let's try to see it. if i add here the debugger okay if i add here the debugger okay so this is the debugger i am adding let's try to see the console now here if you try to see calculator dot prototype so this is the prototype right so in this one we know that version we are having 0.2 Perfect. We are having the 0.2 and if you try to see the getter version, so we are having the prototype like this only. So now let's go. Let's try to apply the spy on property. We are trying to apply spy on property with on the version. So now here, if I go into this one and if I try to print calculator.prototype, so what it has become? It has become undefined. Okay. So the version has become undefined. So because of that reason, so it, it, uh, the get version is also the spy property. So, so it has applied the spy thing. So now how can we apply this one? As this one is a property and we are trying to do that, that it has been called or not. We know that that version is calling the get method. So we need to somehow get the get method. So in our uh, JavaScript, so we have something like object dot get own property descriptor. Okay. So we will be having this get own property descriptor. So here I can use what is the object you want to do. So want to apply. So here the calculator dot prototype. I want to get the property description for this one and the property name. So here if we try to see and here you will be able to see these all the functions what we have did uh, what we have given the uh, configuration for this one version. So we are able to get it and here also we are able to get the get version also. If I try to do dot get here. Okay. So here this dot get method. So we are getting able to get this undefined. 
so the object dot get own property description of version dot get i can use this method and i can i can check it here that whether it has been called or not we can able to see so when we are calling this calculator dot prototype dot version okay internally it is calling that method so here we need to ask that the this way this one is a property and we we are trying to check the function that has been called or not so in order to do that one so internally we it will be calling this function okay whenever you are trying to do get function will be called if i try to check this one okay so now if i try to check so now the spec has been successfully passed so if i go here if i try to remove this debugger okay and if we try to check so it has been successfully called so here it has been successfully called so how this one is called so here whenever you are trying to do the expectation thing you are checking that the function has been called or not you are trying to check when when uh, previously we have given calculator dot prototype dot version it is a property so it will not be called inside that one the getter function will be called in order to get that function we have, we can use this object dot get one property descriptor like dot get okay so now you may be able to find that this one looking like very big one right so now you can do constant spy is equal to so this variable also returns one and the same so you can remove this one all and you can write simply spy that it has been called or not this one is also one and the same only so now this one also got passed see so here if you internally the spy will return you the the property descriptor that is the get function it will try to return you the spy so you can spy like this and also you can do that spy to have been called times how many times it has been called in our main.js we know that it has been called only one time right calculator at version only one time so if i try to see so this one we got it success for example if i try to change it to something like 2 now let's see so expected spy version to call but it was called only one time yeah it's correct so now we can now we can do to have been called with we also know about this to have been called with right we cannot apply this to have been called with why because so we are not sending any parameters to this spy so it is a property get property so we are not sending any parameters this one is used to check only the parameters now how can we check the value so we can spy on this value also dot and dot return value and we can also define the return value i am sending the return value only 0.8 let's assume okay and now i want to check that whether the value wa got was 0.8 or not so how can i check here i will be executing this spy method and here i can check with 2 equal of 0.8 okay now if i try to check so this spec is also has been passed it so now if i try to see so i am trying to send it 0.9 here okay i am checking with the 0.8 now let's try to see it see expected 0.9 but equal to 0.8 so now we need to change it to 0.9 so this is sorry so this is how we will be checking the getter properties hope you understood about this spying on the property getter property so what we have did so here we have did nothing so here we have used the spy on property whenever you want to spy on the properties we need to use it like this spy on property calculator dot prototype version and get version we are using and we are calling the method show version and we are checking that whether the getter function is called or not and how many times it has been called and we are checking that the property value the value that is coming so it is equal to 0.9 or not we are trying to check and that return value we are sending we are we are sending it through the configuration method return value okay so this is how we will be checking on the spying on this properties hope you understood about this spy on property if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you